Welcome to the What Happens Next YouTube channel. What we're aiming to do with this channel is share content designed to make sure that you're supported through whatever's next in your life. And we'd love to continue to do that. I've got a favour to ask today and what I've asked you to do is just subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it really helps us deliver really good quality content on a consistent basis. Thank you and let's go on to the interview. So you've, you've experienced change quite a lot i'd imagine throughout your um th throughout your life what if somebody's thinking about what happens next and thinking about the things they should consider when they're thinking about making positive change what are the top tips you'd think that people should know when thinking about what's next yeah no, that's a great question um so i'll give you a bit of context about what why we did what we did so we're in the uk so we're in we had a nice house, good family, which had our first daughter. And it was, everything was just really good. But for me, I started asking that question, what happens next? And as the time I was like in my early thirties and I can kind of see my life for the next 30 years doing exactly the same as what I've been doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just felt, okay, I want to do, I just feel there's more excitement yeah. that might be able to happen. So that's why as soon as the opportunity to, to move to Hong Kong came up, my wife and I were like, let's just do it. But the good thing, we didn't do it just brash and just sign up. We also thought about, okay, what's the contingency? What about if this doesn't go well? And I think going through those, the, the risks of change in terms of what's gonna happen next and saying, right, how is this? So we kept our house in the UK. So if we did, didn't like Hong Kong, we can come back and it's not as if we've, we've got to start from yeah. scratch. So we could rent that out. We always knew we had good reputations with our, our job, so we thought even if we did have to come back, we could do that. Our daughter was very young at the time, so again, wasn't going to impact on. So we thought about right, if this goes wrong, <laughs> what are the downsides and how are we going to kind of manage those? And similarly, when we were in um, in Hong Kong and moved to Vietnam, which is probably the bigger one because you're kind of going from the safety of a, a corporate to to being separate. But again, we still had those right considerations of if this goes wrong. What, what's the downside? So again, we yeah. had we had money um, saved up, so we knew we were going to be able to cover our expenses. We didn't have that that kind of worry. But again, we, we always thought if it doesn't work out, we can always go back to either Hong Kong or back to the UK. And actually, we kind of try and put a positive spin on it. We were like, actually, even if it does go wrong, we can have a great story. Yeah. <laughs> and it learn, right? it's yeah. also learn. I think you'll be like, oh, we tried that, and oh, it was, just, it was crazy, and we didn't enjoy it, and this this thing happened. And we, but for us, every time we've done taken one of these moves, it's been just phenomenal. We've learned so yeah. much about different people, about ourselves. Yeah.